Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this unique thing is the 11 inch S-Wing Nail Jack. Its uh, model number is 42543. It's a rather unusual take on um, nail pulling. There are a couple of other things kind of like this one. There's a smaller one known as a, a, I think it was a nail hunter. I think a nail jack is a much greater um, or a much better name. Uh, this, yes, it was designed and engineered in the USA, made in India. So there's that. Anyway, so it's actually a kind of a unique thing that is very reminiscent of my favorite Klein um, cutters here in terms of having these this huge cutting face but you notice this is almost flush but it's not designed for cutting although there is a pretty stout edge on that um, pretty sharp edge it also has a gripping area right down in here you can kind of see the I guess that's uh, real heavy I don't know what that jimping gripping um, and then it's got a striking face back here for, for you know, beating on it with a hammer to try to drive these tips in. You notice the tips don't close the same way. So here's a kind of a traditional cutter. And then there's the S-wing. So this is designed to go in after the nails. So I put a few nails into this board. So let's work with them. Um, other traditional nail pullers. Here's a uh, USA made Vaughn Superbar kind of a classic. You can also get these by Estwing and Stanley, but if you want the real the real live super bar, you got to get the Vaughn. Um, here's a Stanley, I believe, an old school, kind of in the traditional nail puller form, where you can pound it here, or you pound it here, and this one's been plenty pounded. Um, anyway, oh, and traditional hammer. This is my first Estwing framing hammer. I'm back where I keep it. So this thing, you know, was designed to reach in, grab a hold of stuff. But in the size, you know, it's pretty big. So what if you've got precision or you don't want, you want to minimize marring? That's where this comes in. So here we've got some nails stuck in this board. I've got smashed heads. I've got sideways. I've got deep sunk. I've got a finishing nail here. So let's, let's see how this works as far as taking these guys out. Um, also, I played around, this is spring-loaded. This is how much it opens, so it's pretty nice there. But if I throw this over it, um, I can actually reverse the spring-loading and use this kind of in a, kind of in and out method, since sometimes I don't want it sprung open, but I'll go ahead and take that off for now. So, easy stuff if you can grab you know, a, a bent nail or something you need to slide out, you can do it with very little effort and very little marring of the surface. Same here. You can see how I can grab it and I can even kind of, whoops, get that in the frame there, nurse this thing out, slowly bringing it up because I can grab the nail very uh, precisely with these big jaws. Something in a little bit deeper, if I can get the jaws at all on it, then I can certainly start to work it out. I can use different places for different amounts of leverage or different amounts of grip. Once we're down into something, um, like on this guy, if I reach in, I might be able to dig down. Maybe I can do it by hand, start to work it up like that, and then just simply use that leverage right here to slowly raise it up and pull it out, just like that. If they're buried in, like this one, I can add a little bit of hammer. So start out a little bit away. You might want to pay attention if there's grain, which way you're working, so you don't do as much or do more damage than is necessary. So I might back this up just a hair, maybe about right there, and start going in and popping it out. And there's a little tiny finishing nail right here. See that guy? So, you know, I can't really easily get in, but what I can do is line this up, and you see that little gap there? 
that little tiny gap, I can get that just in the right place. Beat this thing. And get it. Come on. There we go. So you can see I can destroy the board trying to get this finishing nail out of here. Don't worry, I'm a pro. There we go. Perfect. Almost. Up, oh, fell back in. There we go. With no damage to the board. Look at that. Perfect. One more here. What do we have? We've got this smashed nail. Normally, you know, you might not be able to grip it or you've already you know, pulled on it with a hammer and you've split the top of the nail so there's not much to work with. So you can easily go right in with this. Line it up. Hit it with a hammer here. And there you go. Right out. Anyway, actually you can do a lot. A lot of stuff with this, but it's a pretty crude tool. You don't want to do fine finish work. There's so many better ways with needle nose pliers and things. But it is, if you've got a lot of nails, you're doing some decon, you want to save some wood, which is a big deal today, then this S-Wing 11-inch nail jack might be the way to go. It's about 40 bucks on Amazon, but I've seen it as low as 25 other places uh, for what that's worth. But... It's a, I think it's better than the Crescent uh, kind of nail jack, and it might have some other uses as well. Works great on screws too. So there you go with that, Doc out.